so what we were talking about we were preparing a chart in that i said transaction value and transaction value this chart we were working on this is <clears throat> actual and as per rules and in this again two parts rules for import export and for export and both the rules are made in the year 2000 so that much we had already discussed yesterday right and all this is covered under section 14 subsection 1 right now in the subsection one itself we were talking about first paragraph in the first paragraph what we were discussing is the time and place for the valuation so with there we talked about delivery at the time and place of importation, importation or in the case maybe for export from india for delivery at the time and place of exportation so which is the place of importation or exportation importation is where the goods land after arrival in india and place of exportation is where from goods finally leave the country that is called the place of exportation so valuation is always at the place of importation or exportation in case of import place of importation in case of export place of exportation time is also the same right so we cannot take the value that for the agreement so maybe we enter, we enter into some agreement today with the supplier overseas saying that the value of the plant is rupee is 10 lakh dollars as of today by the time it comes the value has gone up by 1 lakh dollars we cannot say the contract value was 10 lakh dollars the value is at the time of importation. This time is very, very crucial because there is one price, one value at the time of making the contract, another value when the, good, when the documents are submitted, third value when the goods are actually brought to the place of importation or exportation, fourth value is after the loading or before the unloading. Lot of variations are possible. Lot of variations. So when we say place of import, so it is not only the coming up to that place, up to the up to the unloading also everything is taken into account. And in case of exportation, up to the goods are brought to the place of exportation that is taken into account. Now the next condition is where the buyer and seller of the goods are not related. This is the next condition. Con next condition is the buyer and seller. Importer, exporter, you can say. If we are the buyer, we are importer and the supply overseas, he is the exporter. So buyer and seller are being referred as importer and exporter. They are not related. What is term related that is defined in the valuation rules. So the parties happen to be related, right? If the parties, the supplier and the importer or exporter and the recipient overseas, if they happen to be related, within the meaning of the definition of the term related then despite everything being there the transaction value will not be accepted as the correct value because the condition is the party shall not be related so if they are related even if everything is correct still the value will not be correct not be acceptable and the price is the sole consideration now this is another important factor so if there is a price, in addition to price means, what is called a price? Price is, it is the value expressed in terms of money. So if or even if it is partly money and partly other than money, then the consideration is in two parts, not in the sole consideration. The sole consideration should be in the form of money only. The price is what? Price is? consideration expressed in terms of money what is called price so legally speaking price is monetary consideration for the goods or for any transaction 
this is for the sale subject to such other conditions as may be specified in the rules. Now, some more conditions are there in the rules. So, this section is not complete unless the rules are read along with this. So, without rules, valuation cannot be completed. Right? Because why it is saying? Here we have put the condition. Subject to such other conditions as may be specified in the rule. So, without rules, valuation cannot be done. Valuation can be completed only after complete application of these rules. So, is this part clear? Read this thoroughly. And spend one minute on this. Check whether any word is not clear. I'll explain that and then before we proceed. To watch full video join online batch weekdays 8.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. call Tail Institute.